This is a Biofeng UV 13 Pro. Um, if you're wondering why I've got yet another dual band handheld, this one was actually bought brand new for the sum of 15 UK pounds. 15 UK pounds, I'll put the dollar equivalent uh, in the video, direct from China. It's, uh, I guess you would call, a fairly basic uh, VHF, UHF handheld. If we bring in the uh, traditional UV5R next to it, you can see that um, it's slightly larger. The keypad setup looks fairly similar. But the UV13 has apparently 999 memory channels, which is a good deal more than the traditional UV5R. And it seems that this radio is also known, if you look at the manual here, it's also known as a TP8 Plus. I haven't seen TP8 Pluses advertised anywhere. But um, if you have, obviously it looks like that's going to be a UV13 Pro. As we'd expect, we've got um, <clears throat> a pretty traditional uh, keypad here. We turn the radio on. You see the keypad is actually backlit. We've got a nice clear LCD display. The speaker above the display. On the top of the radio we've got the on off and volume control. We've got a flashlight here and a TXRX LED. On this side we have the typical Kenwood style speaker and mic connectors that are used with uh, most of the Bayer things. Have the facility to attach a belt clip on the rear of the uh, the battery pack. And then uh, on the other side we have uh, two side keys. One which turns on the FM radio, Bantu radio. The other side key, bottom side key, operates a flashlight. Okay, so pretty straightforward uh, Biofeng type stuff. The battery is different from the UV5R. It has a USB-C charging port, which seems to be becoming very, very popular with a lot of these uh, handheld radios. So you don't need um, a pod to charge it in, just USB. And slide the catch down here we can remove the battery there we'll see this one's labeled up as a uv 13 pro 136 to 174 megs and 400 to 520 and the battery is what a bl 13 uv i think let's just compare it to a uv5 battery again UV5 battery latches at the top. And uh, it's quite a bit bigger. This is a BL5 7.4 volts. I can't see a current uh, rating on this one. It just says uh, 4 volts. So there it is, the UV13 Pro. Okay, so it feels quite. A nice unit. It's quite compact, although a little bit bigger than the UV5. We'll have a look next at the software and how we can program it. If there is suitable software out there or whether um, Chirp allows us to program this. I haven't, haven't looked yet. And I'll also show you a quick audio test I did with it. But first impressions are pretty good for 15 UK pounds. We've got quite a robust feeling little radio. They're available in a variety of colours, I believe. It's happened to be the colour that this, this one... I don't think I had the opportunity to specify the colour. But at uh, £15, I wasn't going to argue. And um, we'll show you an audio test. As I say, we'll show you uh, an RF power out test. And we'll see if we can get it programmed up with some software. 
So let's do a power test on the uh, UV13. We're going to start off on uh, VHF. We're on uh, 145500 in the, uh, the top VFO there on the, the radio. Right there. So I'm on the 5 watt setting on the meter. Let's just key up. Uh, we've got over 5 watts. Step up to the 20 watt setting. I'll just go into the meter a bit more closely on the higher setting. And uh, well, I think we've got almost 7 watts there on uh, high power. 7 watts. Okay, so we'll now go to the. Okay, we're going to be on 433325 on 70 centimeters. And uh, I'll lock the meter down to the 5 watt setting there. Key it up. And yeah, we got over 5 watts there on UHF. It's quite good power. And again, we've got about 6 watts there. About 6 watts on uh, UHF. So, pretty good showing from the UV13. It's just been charged up. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't program the UV13 with Chirp, or not as far as I know anyway. There's no option on Chirp for the UV13, and I can't find any um, other setting that would work. There is software available that will work with the UV13. It's the Beofeng software. And it's actually called P15UV. P15 UV, that's the one to look for. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can find it on the Micklaw website, which is a very, very useful website. If you're um, interested in uh, the Biofeng and, and other Chinese uh, branded radios. But this is what P15 UV CPS looks like. Now I've got my uh, UV13 connected up. I'm using a standard Biofeng programming lead, the same one that I can use for the um, UV82. And the UV5, just the standard lead. And just to show you that it all works, we're going to try and uh, read the radio. I'll just check firstly that uh, we set on the right COM port. COM5, I think, is the correct one there. So that's fine. Then we'll click on the read radio button. We'll OK that. And we'll read the data from the radio. Now, this is the programming and the channels that the radio came from the factory with and I'll show you uh, there's a I put a picture in the corner of the screen of what your UV13 should look like on on its display when it's uh, successfully speaking to the PC it comes up with uh, as you'll see the program icon on the uh, UV13 screen it's quite slow to load up and I don't think there are that many channels programmed into this one at the moment as I say it's whatever it came from the factory with normally they come with a few random channels in memory as you probably know if you've uh, bought one of these radios we can just close that little box there and if we go to the channel menu and there we are have the channels that are programmed in you can see the parameters that you uh, you need to program in so uh, an rx and tx frequency you can put a, a, a name there so rather than have the frequency uh, readout you can have a, a name for a, a memory channel we've got the uh, dcs or ctcss rather um, tones we can set here and dcs tones actually further down for both transmit and receive. We can set the um, deviation to wide or narrow. We can set the power high or low. PTT ID, busy lock. Add the channels to scan. Not sure what that represents, the, uh, the signal field and the frequency hopping code. Let's see what else we've got. Well, the channel alias I think is the, the name that we assign to that channel power level we've covered channel spacing wide or narrow and the ctcss uh, encode and decode okay so those are the parameters 
We can also alter some general settings in the radio, the preset logo, boot screens, squelch levels, the uh, default language. Uh, we can uh, alter the backlight timeout, which is uh, five seconds as defaulted to, but we could pull that up to 10 seconds, for example. The scan type, beep tones, FM radio. We can have a Roger bleep at the end of our transmissions. And we can have the uh, name or the number displayed on the uh, radio's readout. So that's basically it for the programming. Now unfortunately this software does not allow any cutting and pasting and we can't select these rows. So we're not going to be able to export channels in from uh, any other software that we have, which is a shame, which is why Chirp would be very useful. We'd have more chance of uh, doing that with Chirp. But to program this radio, you're going to need to uh, just go through and key everything in at the moment. Um, there are apparently 999 channels available, so more than enough memories, much more than the UV5R that we're used to. 999. See, interesting, there's one right down at the bottom. I might have programmed that in accidentally when I was messing around with the radio, I think, on the keypad. And there it is. Uh, not a lot to this software, but as I say, you haven't got any facility to export or to import from it. Um, looks like potentially there's a way of upgrading or there may be in future upgrading firmware. I can see this tool. Don't know what it's looking for. Okay, that may be a, a potential firmware upgrading tool. I don't know. That was under the um, program menu. Um, and that's about it. That's it for the uh, programming of the UV13 and it's the P15 UV CPS unit. I think P15 UV is another uh, Bayofeng model of radio. I have seen those advertised. Obviously it would seem that the internals are the same as the UV13 then because the, the software is the same.